explosive. Already? Yeah. Dang. It's gonna take longer than I thought. Uh, two days ago, I went home for the first time since the Thursday before. Normally, my wife and I, we always go on a Valentine's vacation. I miss that. Friday, this Friday was my birthday. I was working. So it's been a, <laughs> a tough week. It's one of the longest I've had to work since I've been here. Man, the snow, the, the conditions themselves, just driving, we've had a couple close calls. Just navigating to our equipment was tough in itself. So just imagine doing this when it's 17 degrees and your fingers don't want to work. <laughs> and I know there were guys working just as hard as we were to try to restore our power. Everybody helps each other. Uh, everybody works together. It's a, it's a team. For the community, I would say, you know, be patient with us for sure. Um, we're definitely working out, working hard, trying to get it restored. I know that's it's frustrating when your power's off for sure. Sometimes we don't know how long it's going to take because we haven't found the problem yet. And we're working to do and find that. A lot of us don't have power, but at the same time, like, a lot of these people don't either, and they're out here trying to make sure that everyone gets power. So I just want to say thank you to all of them. I appreciate it. It's tough, but like I said before, we've, we've all been away from our families for long periods of time because of storm restoration. So if this is your first storm, I'm sure it's hard, but this is none of our first rodeos, so we got it. We're just out here to work and get our job done. I mean, if they could be patient, that'd be great, but if they're not, we totally understand, but they just have to know that we're not leaving until the power's on.